Okay. I like acronyms. They make it easy for me to remember the words that I'm searching for. When I was with Mom at the hospital, I thought of the acronym DASH for all the feelings I had been going through at the time. Discouragement, sadness, anger, and hope. It should be discouragement, anger, sadness, and hope. That's how it's DASH. I did that wrong. When writing this eulogy, I wanted to find another acronym to, to describe Mom, but soon realized it was impossible, as there are just too many words to describe her. Loving, caring, kind, generous, fierce, passionate, and adventurous, I would say. She loved fiercely with all her heart, always thinking of others and whatever she could do for them. Mom was a passionate person. Let's face it, some might say stubborn when it came down to her convictions and beliefs. Once she had her mindset, you weren't likely to change it. This quality also made her someone you were very lucky to have in your corner. Because let's face it, you didn't want to mess with Gail <laughs> when it came to her family. Gail met Stan in 1987 and was quickly swept, swept away by the farmer charmer. Before you knew it, she was no longer a city girl, but completely uprooted her life to be a farm wife. Mom quickly adapted to this new world, and although not the most practical in her thinking when it came to the business side of farming, she worked hard and was always there to help. I might not have the story exactly right, but I do remember one year when Mom and Stan were calving, and a particular cow she got attached to named Becky. Uh, when it came time to sell Becky, she insisted on keeping her. I believe her excuse was that Becky had had twins, and she could have more, you never know, so we should keep her. I don't believe Becky had any more cows, but she lived the rest of her life out on the farm anyway. But that was Mom, a heart of gold. Eventually, the cattle were sold, Mom and Gail learned to combine, and her and Stan worked side by side until their retirement in 2021. Gail loved to travel. Her and Stan had taken trips together over the years, from driving to Sturgis, going to Las Vegas, and then one particular trip where they spent two weeks in the southern states, one of her more memorable trips. In 2017, she planned a trip of a lifetime where her, Cliff and I went to Europe. Unfortunately, Stan had taken a fall and broken his hip the day before. And I remember when Mom called me with this news, I was ignorant to the seriousness of the situation and said, Oh no, Mom, did you need me to pick you up at the farm? And she <laughs> said, to which I got a very stern reply, Melissa, we're not going to Europe. Uh, cancel everything. I'll be staying home with Stan. And again, Mom did her best to take care of the people she loved. Luckily, her Cliff and I were able to take that trip in 2018, where there were so many wonderful memories for me. But for Mom, going to the Vatican was the highlight, of course. Gail loved the lake, something she did since I was a child. I remember when I was 13, Mom bought a small trailer. When I asked her how we were going to get it up to the lake, but since we didn't own a truck, she replied we'd haul it in her with, we'd haul it with her car, which I should mention was a 1978 Camaro at the time. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't take too many trips for Mom to realize that a Camaro wasn't really a hauling vehicle. That was Mom, sometimes impulsive, impulsive with her ideals, and saw the pets she brought home over the years, right, Stan? <laughs> um, but always with her heart in the right place. Lake trips continued over the years with grandchildren and eventually great-grandchildren and Mom's siblings as well. There were many fond memories made over, over the years during those summers. Mom did her best to make sure Cliff and I had the greatest upbringing she could provide. And later when her and Stan married, I know she tried her best to be a good stepmom to Eric, Urban, and Karen, something that was very important to her. Gail was a very proud grandma, always talking about her grandchildren and sharing stories about each and every one of them. From her and Stan going to hockey games, figure skating, dance and horse competitions, doing Christmas baking, attending every graduation and wedding day, she supported all of them. She could never spend enough time with her grandchildren. This gives me some solace knowing she was where she wanted to be when she, prior to her passing, meeting her latest great-grandchild. Always putting up another picture on the wall and planning when she could see them again. Each and every one of them gave her true joy. She was an amazing mother, grandmother, wife, sister and friend, and will truly be missed beyond words. As many of you know, 
Mom wasn't a drinker, but when we, Cliff and I, went to Europe, we talked her into uh, trying champagne, something she enjoyed once in a while after. So, with this in mind, does everybody have a glass? Oh, chop chop, ladies. Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> We're getting there. I must have read faster than you guys can pour. Okay. Well, we're sampling. Yeah. You don't have to drink it, but you're going to have to toast it. But you guys won't drink. Toast me and my friends will. So. Okay. How many more do we need? I need one. Oh, yeah. you? Do you like one? Sure. more? Okay, should we have them here? So, with this in mind, I'd like you to raise your glasses and have a toast to Gail. And this will be her celebration of life toast, who will be in my thoughts every day. And I'm so grateful for all the memories she has left us. She was truly a wonderful person to Gail. To Gail. Oh. Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk by through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight I've always made my troubles feel so small you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me and I will hold on tight God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing Around the throne tonight.
Took the supermarket flowers from the windowsill Threw the day old tea from the cup Packed up the photo album Matthew had made Memories of a life that's been loved Took the Garrett well soon cars and stuffed animals Put the old ginger beer down the sink Dad always told me don't you cry when you're down But mum there's a tear every time that I blink Oh I 
I'm in pieces, it's tearing me up, but I know A heart that's broke is a heart that's been loved So I'll sing hallelujah You were an angel in the shape of my mom When I fell down, you'd be there holding me up Spread your wings as you go And when God takes you back, he'll say hallelujah, you're home I fluffed the pillows, made the bed, stacked the chairs up Folded your nightgowns neatly in a case John said he'd drive then put his hand on my cheek And wiped a tear from the side of my face And I hope that I see the world as you did Cause I know a life with love is a life that's been lived So I'll sing hallelujah in the shape of my mom When I fell down you'd be there holding me up Spread your wings as you go And when God takes you back You'll say hallelujah You're home To see the person I have become Spread your wings and I know That when God took you back He said hallelujah, you're home